Saved from Titanic is a 1912 American silent film. It's a lost film. <laughs> this is also the film that stars Dorothy Gibson, an American film actress who survived the sinking of the Titanic. This film premiered just 29 days after the event. It is the earliest dramatization about the tragedy. I had to look <laughs> because there's also In Knocked at East that I critiqued and In Knocked at East was released in autumn of that year. So <laughs> yeah, I had to do extra research on that because I had forgotten. Now, when it comes to Dorothy Gibson, um, she was one of 28 people on the first lifeboat to be launched and um, when she returned, you know, when she came to New York City, almost immediately she was co-writing the script for this film. I, I, just, I, I don't know how she could do that. Because when uh, there were uh, reviewers and critics who were saying she was obviously extremely traumatized how why did they even so whoever it was I'm guessing it was her agent was trying to cash in on this tragedy no regard for her feelings or how you know her <laughs> I don't like using the word but her mental health at this so um the, the story itself, from what I'm gathering, the, the script follows a fictional version of her. She comes into New York um, to meet her family and fiancé, and basically there's a flashback and talks about the tragedy. Now, as soon as the sinking happened, Times have not changed from 1912 to now. So for all that amount of time, 100 plus years, people have been interested in the sinking. Because maiden voyage and the ship sinks. Uh, when was the last time that happened? <laughs> doesn't happen that often. So this particular film was a sellout. Now there were people, it got mainly positive reviews, but there were people who criticized it for uh, commercializing on the tragedy so soon. And I do have to agree. I think that, I mean, first of all, for Dorothy, I thought that she was older. It turns out she's like 21, 22 years old. Good heavens. <laughs> Wait. Now, the the thing about this film is it, it did say that within the film there were there was footage alongside um like the the film of her, you know, talking to her family and everything and uh, to add authenticity so to speak and there was like footage of um edward smith of captain smith on the olympics so that famous part where you see like the scratched out <laughs> the olympic because it's supposed to be the titanic but he was basically showing off the olympic however it was supposed to be the titanic so, and um, because the Titanic was still being built, that's the reason for that. And um, I know a lot of myths are being circulated for that, but that's the reason for that. Anyway, but if it's part of that movie, we'll never know. It could be part of a newsreel or what have you. Now, there was a newsreel that was to promote this uh, film and it worked and that's one of the reasons why it was sold out 
uh, President Taft received a personal, which doesn't happen very often, but he received a copy of the film. Now, if I remember right, somebody he knew was part of the sinking, was a victim of the sinking, uh, excuse me, but um, I don't remember who. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, I'll, I'll look into that and put it in the description because I, I don't remember who he knew, but it seems like President Taft knew somebody. And so he got a personal copy, which didn't have it very often during that time. So, um, anyway, yeah, the... <laughs> The film itself follows a fictional version of her. She's playing a fictional version of herself, so she's playing herself. And she tells the story of what happened, and it's intermixed with footage of icebergs, and then, of course, Captain Smith on the Olympic, which is basically that scratched out. And um, there's this is a lost film. It was only 10 minutes. Which, from what I understand, because uh, um, feature films weren't a thing yet, so th that's a normal time for films back then, and uh, so that that was the normal, and uh, so, but again, Captain Smith on the Olympic, and uh, intermixed with the actual filming of her telling the story, sad thing before I close up here one of the saddest things about this is um, right after the film was done Dorothy suffered a mental breakdown so um, just very very sad but anyway this is saved from the Titanic it's a 1912 film it is a lost film